I'm Hugh and Hook, and this is The Real Review. The wine we're tasting today is Robert Steen Single Vineyard Reserve Riesling, 2019, from the Mudgee region. The backstory to this wine is that the Steen family have quite a history in New South Wales. Uh, Robert Steen, whose name is on the winery, uh, planted his vineyard at Mudgee in the uh, late 60s, the 1960s. But several generations before that, he had an ancestor who was brought out from Germany to work in the MacArthur family's vineyards out at Camden. Uh, because the new colony in, uh, in the 1830s had very few people that knew anything about viticulture, the MacArthur's brought people from Germany to work in the vines and to teach them how to do it. And the Steen family's ancestor, whose name was Johann, was one of those people. He also brought some Riesling vines out, and some of them think that it is actually the first Riesling that was ever planted in Australia, was what he brought. Uh, these days, it's uh, the third generation of the, of the family to run this vineyard. His name is Jacob, he's a young man, and a very, very good winemaker um, who's doing wonderful things, not only for Robert Steen vineyards, but for the Mudgee district as well. And he's a particular fan of Riesling. He loves it. In fact, he calls himself, I think on the back label of this wine, he says, winemaker and Riesling tragic, Jacob Steen. So how does this wine taste? Nine, 2019 vintage, so it's two years old and uh, very pale color still. Being a reserve Riesling, we can expect that it's going to be a delicate wine, which has been produced specifically for aging so that it will get better and better with aging. The first nose on that wine is chalky, very minerally kind of chalky nose, quite interesting. And underneath that you get the floral characters of the Riesling fruit. And there are citrus aromas, there's limes and mandarin, there is a, a lot of aromatic there, but it's just latent and just starting to emerge and I think with more time this will become more and more interesting on the nose. Hmm. Taste is delicious. It's mouth-watering. It's fresh, lively, excellent fruit. Again, you've got those citrus flavors come through strongly on the palate. Limes, lemons, mandarin, and pretty dry, this wine. There might be a, a, a gram or two of residual sugar there, but it certainly tastes dry and it finishes very dry and appetizing. It leaves your palate refreshed and prepared for food which is what all good white wines should do, I think. Prepare you for a meal. And how do we rate this wine? We gave it a gold ribbon score, which is 95 points out of 100. And that meant it was number four out of 20 Rieslings from that, uh, from that vintage, from that region, from the Central Ranges region, which includes Mudgee. So it's a top rank wine. And we've suggested that you drink that from now until 2032. In other words, another 10 years or so, it's going to age beautifully and it's nowhere near its peak just yet. So the food match for this wine, we asked the winemaker Jacob Steen if he would like to nominate food. And he said, basically, like all good Rieslings, it will go with anything to do with fish or seafood, but especially oysters, prawns, and super, super fresh sashimi. Couldn't agree more. Cheers to that. 